Hey, what's up, everybody? This is JT back with another podcast. Today's number 58. We have Starbucks just shutting down bathrooms because of the mental illness problem. We also have um, South Sudan coming down to one of the best lawsuits I've ever seen. Just, you know, me living my life. So let's get started. But I mean, before I break down everything else, let me just explain what's been going on in my life. We did have one of our dogs just recently passed. She was suffering from like seizures and shit. So, we, you know, after like, uh, she usually just had like one or two. And then we woke up like at 4 a.m. and she was having like, she just kept having them. Like I let him outside, came back in, fed him, fed him a treat. And all of a sudden, baby girl just had about 20 in a row. And if you've ever had to dispose of your dog, if you ever had to be the man of the house and dispose of a dead being, let me tell you right now, it's not that fucking good. But I just had to do that shit, you know, you just have to step up. But yeah, disposing of a dead body is just terrible. It reminded me of when I threw my grandma's and my cousin's ashes out they both got cremated and for some odd reason i was the fucking person to break open their um vase and throw off their their ashes from the edge of a cliff so i pray to the that no one ever has to experience that is throwing your ashes off of your grandma with your bare fist and there's clumps in there and shit you you feel things and it's fucked up but god bless the dead you know sammy sosa and then um yeah disposing of of your dog oh. and the way they have you do it literally makes you feel like you're getting rid of a dead body here because you have to wrap it up and take it to the dump and the whole time I was like, no one's even asking me questions. This is crazy. Like you can literally kill something and just get rid of it. I advise you don't, but that's what they do out here. It's crazy. But um, one of my favorite news topics that I saw is Starbucks is shutting down their bathrooms to the public. Cause most private businesses do this but it's funny to see a public public um a public brand just say the reason is because mental illness is too high like son that shit ain't getting better like like homo the free landed a brave and just the the most intoxicated ill-willed mental mentally sick people running around and that's what like when you go out in public nowadays it's just a roll of the dice if you live in major cities like you can literally run into anyone and anything but it's like improv class you have to roll with a bunch of like whatever you hear you just go yep fucking a you better go get them yep yep and just keep rolling with it it's just yeah and yeah and you don't try to shut that energy down because those fucking people probably hit you upside the head with a fucking MT4 local can. But it's yeah, it's all about the energy you bring. You gotta dictate that energy. But yeah, Starbucks is shutting it down. Gotta buy some to piss there, man. When I went to New York City, it was like the whole fucking time. It's crazy. And then I saw this other news topic in South Sudan. One of the sheep, I guess, killed this lady. And these, these two people showed up to this farm. The sheep murked the lady, just went up to it and just said, I don't like the energy you're bringing. Fucking pop, pop. So they sentenced the sheep. I'm, I come from a, a family of sheep farm. I have a sheep farm back in Colorado. So this story is sentimental. They sentenced the sheep to three months 
spent three years in prison and they find the family with the sheep, five cows. I feel like that's a hefty fine, dude. And I'm worried about that sheep in that prison because in South Sudan, those fucking prisoners, they come from long lineages of sheep farmers that dick down sheep. So I feel like this is a ploy by the cops to get some sheep pussy in that fucking prison. Now call me crazy, but from here on now, I'm calling sheep pussy propaganda when I see it. And in South Sudan, it's happening right now. So FEMA, what's it called? PETA, PETA better get on their high tails and fucking fight that case before that sheep gets staked down to death. God bless that sheep. I pray for its pussy. By pussy, I mean his asshole. Uh, yeah. And then, last but not leastly, just a small reflection of how our system works here in America. This commit, this, um, some like sheriff commissioner literally said in this, um, press release, they were asking questions and shit. He's like, if we didn't have the the work labor of our private prisons, Arizona wouldn't be able to function because of the prisoners get paid 10 cents a day and they work 40 hour work weeks and they produce tons of like, just whatever the fuck they, they're telling them to fucking do and they have to work there. So, we have sweatshops, we have modern day slavery, but this little Arizona fucking commissioner dude just reminded us once again what it's all about. And their literal excuses to make them go, be to go to bed easier at night is like, we're helping the state out for cheap labor. Like none of this would be possible without slaves. So like, like it or leave it, we have to meet a quota and if you fall in that quota, then thank you. But thank us as well, because that's us pushing for free fucking labor. So count your blessings. You're like, you're lucky you're making fucking minimum wage. You can be in prison making 10 cents in, on the dollar. On the dollar. 10 cents on the fucking $12. Michigan just raised their shit to 12 You know, it's a beautiful life though. It's a beautiful life. But um, yeah, that's, you know, that's JT coming through hospital. And my favorite, my favorite podcast that split is Jesus and Mero, the Bodega Boys. And when podcasts split, it's hard to get someone to do a fucking podcast. That's why I do one by myself because do you know how many times it took to try to get someone to do this and they just bitched out? Too busy with some other like habit they have. So I look, anyone who has a team with the podcast, I just like envy and just look up to because I'm like, how do you balance that fucking crazy person's personality? It's hard enough to, to, to carry mine myself. But yeah, shout out to South Sudan. Shout out to the Arizona gover governor. Just, and we'll say governor, Arizona motherfucker. And you know, shout out to just us. Just be ballers, bro. Oh, the boys on Spotify, Amazon, fucking um, iHeartRadio, the whole shit. Now I kind of leave those boys split up. But another one of my favorite things is um, a deforestation company is responsible for massive forest fires, forest fires in Spain. And that's the shit that kind of life that we're living is like 
deforestation company is responsible for a forest fire. It's literally like the the say just just say no campaign provoking just like generations of like free slave labor and these state private prisons. It's crazy, man. But yeah, this type of shit. So try to be just you know you have to play your part, but see see the difference at least but take care of yourself you know don't go protesting and going broke because these fucking blms and lgbtqs they don't care about you so you know take care of yourself and your family first crazy but yeah with me oh man fresh i i'm up 15 pounds dude two, 15 pounds in two weeks is that normal I went from <clears throat> now we could all talk about this. I was a birdcage chest. Fifteen uh, <clears throat> I was one forty nine when my daughter was born. Two weeks later, one sixty four point seven. Dick boys. But shout out to the end of the world, shout out to the you know, society falling apart slowly and shout out to the fucking next generations holding on for dear life. This is JT. With back with another podcast, Jufro Shorty. So like, subscribe, get on Spotify, rate, all that shit. This is JT, back with another one. One time for the one time. We done, son.